Okay, so for our template uh, app that we're building here, we should have a main screen. You can make it look like what you want, but there should be a button to go to the main application and then another button that's going to take people to an about screen that talks a little bit about yourself and has a link to data. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to show you the one that I have so far and came up with this arrangement that I'm going to teach you. You'll also notice that I have activity starter that I've gotten from connectivity and put in here. You have to actually put this string, it's on the Weebly site, into the action and then you'll be able to go to different websites. Let me go ahead and make a new one. You may already have an about screen, so just create another one that says about me. This is very uh, easy to do since we were leaving the screen one to just be an intro. We can change where that about goes to depending on which one we want to use. So to start off with, I'm going to say that there is no background image, no background color. I do want to have uh, some backgrounds in there, and I already have a couple. If you don't have one already, just go ahead and upload one of those. You can click on background image and choose it. Uh, we made some very nice ones, and so with this arrangement, we're actually going to be able to see part of it instead of it taking up the whole screen. So let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, uh, this about me may not be necessary because what we're talking about, you can actually turn that title bar off so in your app it's not visible. Uh, we won't need to make it scrollable because we're going to make the label itself scrollable. And I also want to point out there are some default um, transitions here, but you can actually have your uh, pages slide open or zoom or fade. Just something interesting to give a look at. So let's start with our first layout, which is going to be one vertical arrangement that takes up the whole screen. That's going to allow us to then do things inside of that. So let's go ahead and change this to fill parent and fill parent. And we're going to say whatever's inside here, let's just center it. The default color can be none so that we can see inside. Next, we're going to do another vertical arrangement and put it inside of this one. And we're doing this in order to have it be a little bit smaller than the screen and that will frame our stuff on here with this pretty background. So let's just go with 90%. You can experiment with different percentages uh, for width and height, but I'm just going to do that for the moment. And once again, it can be none. I also tend to like to center anything that's inside of this vertical arrangement. Now this one is now going to have two sections. A larger section for the label at the top that can scroll and a bottom part that is just going to be for the buttons. So let me put in a vertical scroll arrangement that the label is going to go in and a horizontal arrangement for the buttons across the bottom. We're just going to have a couple buttons so we don't need to have this scroll left and right but this one is going to scroll up and down. Let's start with the buttons down here at the bottom. You'll notice that it says horizontal arrangement and vertical. We can change these names later to something that makes more sense. But the width for the bottom part, the horizontal arrangement, is going to fill parent. And we're going to give it a certain percent of the screen. I think 15 to 20 percent of the screen should be more than enough on most devices to hold some buttons for us. I'm going to use 15 this time around. It doesn't look like it changed much, but when we take this one, the vertical scroll arrangement, and we say go ahead and fill the parent width, and then the height, we can also fill parent, you'll see that it takes whatever's left. So you really only have to change one number here from 15 to 20 to shrink this one down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and change this to none because we want to be able to see our background around the buttons. And then this one right here is actually going to have the label in it. I'm going to also say none and then alignment can be centered as well. Uh, won't let me center that one, but here we go. So the next thing we're going to add is the label where the text is going to go. So for that, we're back to our layout here, user interface right above it. You don't want to use a text box or a button. Label holds text very nicely for us. When we put it in there, you can see that it has no background color, but that could make it hard to read. 
For absolute legibility, we're going to make that white. And we're going to make the height fill parent and the width fill parent. So it will take whatever it needs and fill that in. We might be able to get away with a height that is automatic uh, as well. So if we do that, watch what happens when I put my bio in there. So you should have some sort of biography written, uh, spell checked, grammar checked, and ready to go. Control C to copy. And I'm back over here where it says text for label. So this is the text box where we will control V and paste the biography. Now it's not going to look quite like this when it's done, but some of the things that we're going to want to do is make that a bold font easier to read and increase the font size so that it's going to be plenty large. We'll see how that automatic works. We might change that to fill parent height. Um, Text alignment should stay to the left and just make sure that it's really, really visible. So that's our bio with a frame around it. Let's just do a couple of quick buttons. Uh, button one and button two. Now the first button is actually going to be the link to data. So I'm going to uh, rename this one to data and I'm going to change the text for the button to data. Notice that the button did get smaller because it's automatically sized according to the text. Now this is our return button. So I'm going to rename this one to button return. And actually rename this one right here as well to button data. Makes it a lot easier to tell what's what when you've got a complex arrangement. Now this horizontal arrangement here has got it over on the left hand side. I do tend to like to have that centered as well. And it can be at the top or centered as well. So let's go ahead and change the text for this button to the word return. And we can do a couple of other things here. Um, the width does not have to be automatic. We can tell it to be a certain part of the screen. So if we wanted it to be, let's say, one quarter of whatever it is, we can put 25% for that one. Go to our button data and make the width also 25%. Now some of the time, sometimes when I'm uh, making these buttons and then I put it on a device, they end up right next to each other. And I do tend to like to have a little bit of space in between there. So I'll start off with some rounded shapes and maybe a background color that, let's see, cyan might work well for a data button. And the return button can also have some sort of color. I tend to like green for some reason and I can have that rounded shape. If I want these to be spread out a little bit, I can force it to do that by inserting a label in between the two. I don't need any text in it. It doesn't need to be visible but we can make the width a certain percent of the screen and that way no matter what we're going to have a little bit of gap in between those buttons. You're actually going to have another button in here later that's going to link to your Weebly page. So this is uh, just a spacer label so I also tend to just rename that to spacer just so I know oh yeah there's something there but it doesn't do anything except keep these two buttons apart. So I'm going to go ahead and build this APK. Uh, if, if this about screen that we've got here about me works out, then of course on your main, not main, that's where the blocks will be, sorry, screen one, then I would need to just change the destination for this block. So I go in here to when button about is clicked instead of about. Now I change the text to about me. And that will now go to the other screen instead. The about screen had this when the return is clicked. So how about I put that in my backpack and then go over here to the about me screen and then get when the return button is clicked. Please go back. Now this return button needs to be named as such. If I actually click on it, it's button return click. 